My name is Maurice and uh, I'm the founding director of Mana Ministries International based here in Nairobi, Kenya. And I want to invite you to join me as I share this message that the Lord has put in my heart today. And I want to read from the book of uh, Psalms chapter number 46 and verse 1 and 2. And this is what the word of God says. God is our refuge and strength always ready to help in terms of trouble. So we will not fear when the earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. As I read this scripture, it reminds me what the entire world is going through right now. The entire world is walking through the complexities of coronavirus. And as a result, the entire world is faced with unique challenges. And this is the only time in my lifetime where I have been able to witness the rich crying with the poor. And that is because there is a common trouble, a common pandemic that is been released, that is touching on everyone. The first world countries and the third world countries are both crying for the same pandemic. The world is walking through a dark moment in history. And there it seems that even our leaders and even the powerful nations don't seem to have a solution for the problem that is eating the nations. And it is a time such as this that we turn to the Word of God and see our position in the Word of God. And from the book that we have just read, the Bible reminds us what is our position. And it says, it is God who is our refuge and our strength. When our money cannot be our strength, when our education cannot help, even the scientists have confessed that they don't have a solution. They are working day and night, but there is, don't seem to be a solution. Everybody is afraid. And even the medics are dying. And what do we do? Where do we go? As Christians, the Bible says that God is our refuge and our strength. And he is always ready to help us in terms of trouble. <clears throat> I know that you might be facing trouble right now. Perhaps it is trouble of your loved ones that have been hit by this pandemic. Maybe your loved ones have not been hit but you look at what is happening around the world and you feel sorry and you are crying and bleeding in your heart. You wish there was something that could have been done to bring down this pandemic. So we've been hit. But the Bible says that God is ready to help us in our times of trouble. He is not respected of persons and nothing takes him by surprise. And that is why I feel confident at peace in my heart because I know who I belong to. And I want to remind you, if in any way, because of the fear, because of the uncertainty, you might have gotten to a place where you have forgotten whom you belong to. Can I remind you today? You belong to God. And our God is bigger than any mountain. He is bigger than coronavirus. He is bigger than any lack. It's bigger than any challenge. When even the powerful nations, they have gotten no use of their weapons, they cannot use guns to, to shoot corona, they cannot use money to kick it out, they cannot use education to kick it out, then we can turn to God. He is a God who is almighty, all-powerful one. Even corona bows before him and salutes him. And he says that he is ready to help us in our times of trouble. What am I trying to say? 
I am trying to say that we are so fortunate as men and women of God, as children of God, because in the middle of all this trouble, God has given us a very unique invitation. You have been given a unique invitation to become a career of hope. There is no hope for people of the world. There is no hope in our families. There is no hope in our nations. There is no hope for our medics. But God has chosen you and me as believers to carry what the world is in need of. And that is hope. Now I want to say that as Christ followers, that we have been, been presented with a very unique opportunity that even in the middle of this storm that we can go to our family and we can present hope to them they can be able to access what we carry you carry God and when you carry God you carry everything you carry healing you carry breakthrough you carry promotion you carry uh, uh, blessings you carry restoration and this is the, what the world is crying for. I want to remind you, my dear brother and sister, as a believer in Jesus Christ, that we can rise up and head to our families and let them access what we carry. Let them access our God. Let them access our Lord. Let us go to the nations. Let us go to our workplaces. Let us go to the social platform, to Facebook Live, to YouTube. Let us make every use of everything that is available to us. And let us continue to carry and present hope to the world that is hopeless right now because of the pandemic. There is hope when we can unite together and rise up and present hope to the hopeless world. God bless you. And I want to remind you once again, please, if you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube so that you can be notified about our regular videos. Subscribe at Missions of Mana YouTube channel and also Facebook, Mana Ministry International, and also uh, uh, Twitter handle and Instagram, both at Missions of Mana. And God will bless you. Remember once again, you are the carrier of hope. And we are going to choose faith over fear. In Jesus' name, amen.